Hello! Looks like I am online. Alright, so welcome to our hopefully first successful uh, silent ascension. Okay, let's take a quick look and see what we got. Oh, I'd rather do that, I think. But let's see. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Okay, well, there's no, there's no shops. So, like, it doesn't matter what we do in terms of uh, losing all our gold, I think. Although we will head a shop before this elite. Come on, let's do it. We could do it. Okay, honestly, like, that's pretty good. Anyway, hopefully... I think I'm gonna take this path. God, this is a horrible path. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, hopefully it turns out well for us anyway. That being said, get ready for hopefully no more internet issues. <clears throat> I know we had a couple of interruptions on my last stream, and so I am hopeful that we have gotten them all resolved. But, you know, that's what you get when you uh, get the... It, it's just kind of the, the joys of uh, ISP monopolies, you know? So let's see if we can get ourselves a win. I mean, I feel like our, our first, um, ooh, I'll have to go leg sweep. I mean, we can afford more expensive cards. Oh, oh no! So zoom, we get fairy in a bottle first thing. Ouch. Like, this just rubbing it in. Anyway, I mean, this is pretty good. Getting, like, one extra energy at the start of every turn is just so incredibly good that I just feel like this is, this is a really excellent boon for us um yeah pretty pretty stoked honestly and i mean it's always fun for me i really like the silent she's my favorite character um i know that like realistically right like the watcher is cooler right like there's just so much more going on and like when you can make the watcher pop off i mean like what's more exciting to watch than a glass cannon you know i mean i'm not sure there's anything I guess we're sort of tentatively going for, uh, let's do this first. We're tentatively going for a, I wonder if we could kill this guy. Bet you we could. Oh, no. Bet you we couldn't. I definitely should have hit that one then. Very silly. But uh, we'll live through it, I suppose. Well, he'll die to poison anyway, so who cares. Oh, right, we can't, we can't take any of that. Don't be a fool. Okay, I am going to ignore that stuff, though. I know, like, a strength-up situation, it's cool. But for now, I mean, I am kind of taking more expensive cards. We've got something defensive, and honestly, something else kind of defensive. Which, I mean, I can I can live with that. Actually, let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, so I mean, like, the Watcher, right? Very cool. You got the whole glass cannon situation, also very cool and fun. The defect, you know, similarly zany. Pretty fun and cool again as well. Uh, but I do think that, like, the silent just, I just really like the silent. You know, I really like uh, the poison builds, I like the shiv decks, I don't know, I think they're all fun. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this helps us with the fact that we got rid of Ring of the Snake. I don't know, I think, like, that would be fun, but I'm trying not to, I, I don't want to get too crazy here, okay? I want to make sure that we don't wind up I guess if we exhaust this, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to wind up with too thick of a deck, okay? We've been falling into that pitfall these last couple of games, and while like we haven't always been punished for it as we should be, uh, that doesn't mean that we should get complacent, okay? We can watch ourselves make mistakes and then know we need to fix them, so hopefully that's something that we wind up doing. Otherwise, eh. Okay, we'll weaken that one since it's going to attack next turn. And we should be able, I mean, depending on what we draw, we might be able to kill this one. Yeah! Let's hit this one. And there's no point in playing Survivor because we want to go ahead and evaporate or sublimate the dazes. I mean, because they're, they're a solid first, right? If we're going straight from solid to gaseous phase, then that's, that's sublimation, yeah. <laughs> It's like that very romantic song, you know, that's Amore. Um, cool. Well, this could be worse. I mean, honestly, like, this sentry fight is going as well as can be expected for, like, a 
Uh, I don't know if I'd flatter myself so far as to say a thin deck, but definitely without having much that's like aggro. I mean, we don't have any shiv deck to pop off with. We don't have a uh, poison deck to like whittle these guys away. I mean, honestly, there's nothing to recommend this deck is like clearly the long and short of it. Okay, we get to play all these. Very nice. But that extra energy, I really think that's gonna that's gonna take us the extra mile, you know? At least that's what I'm hoping for. Let's do that. I know, I know. It could be better for sure, but I, I think it's okay. Hmm. Okay. Easy enough. Get these dazes out of here. We don't need that trash. Okay. Alright, that's going okay. So, I'm a little curious what our path looks like, because I know it was kind of terrible. Okay, we're going to have a question mark, and then we, we can take this one and get a combat instead of a question mark. Okay, that's honestly really good, because I want to, I think I want to 7 poison versus 4 poison. I feel like that's like actually fairly significant, so I'm kind of interested in seeing that happen. Okay, all these smooth stone. Hmm. I mean, cloak and dagger. I mean, all we have in common is like, let's take distraction. You know, it gives us, I guess, the potential to have something more interesting going on. Look, we're going to hit a shop. We know it. So we may as well. I don't know, this is what, three week and 14 block? It's good. Distraction being free is great, but we don't need it. So I think we can keep going. And then we'll go here. I mean, the boot's very good. I think we should take the boot. I mean, but really, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You get it. Maybe. Okay, we're definitely going to do this. And then if we blocked here, it would still, we'd still take damage. I mean, did you like me still, like, insisting that I could play that strike? You know, denial is a powerful tool in my arsenal. Okay, well, we don't need any of that. Okay. Um, oh, we can play out our hand. He'll die next turn, even with his blocking. You know, that's not going to save him, I think. Oh, no, no, no. He'll be, he'll be okay. I mean, from poison. He obviously won't be okay. <laughs> um, okay, let's remove this curse we picked up. Like fools. Okay. Um... Look, it would obviously be great to take anything else, including after images, but there's no way we turn down calipers. I mean, calipers is like a, it's, it's, it's a game winning thing if you can stack up enough block. And I mean, I think the thing that we've mentioned here is that we've really only got block. This is a very defensive uh, deck so far, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather get footwork out, crippling cloud applied, you know, anything like that before it wakes up, so... Let's take this. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Okay. No point in bothering with that, though. Not going to get us anything. This is good. I mean, 11 poison on there already? Not even... Oh, yeah, I was like, not even sure that happened. Yeah, okay. I do know. Never mind. Mm, this is fine. I mean, we should take no damage. Of course, that weakness is going to wear off this upcoming turn, but hey, not for long. And then we can play out our whole hand, which is awesome. And we take no damage? I mean, truly, we are fortunate here. This is alright. I'm still... I still would have played that. Keep him weak for the next turn. Uh, isn't Logable in, like, a town in Ireland or something? We can pretend, like, a, a Slay the Spire stream that we do for, uh, like, around St. Patrick's Day. We can pretend like it's a St. Patrick's Day theme because of the Logable one. Um, I think that's true. I'm actually... Okay, hang on. I'm gonna find out for sure. Uh, log of one, log of one. But I'm pretty sure it's Scottish. It's Scottish. My bad. Okay, it's a malt. There's a very famous malt whiskey distillery there. And yes, it's in Scotland. Truly, truly, I've, I've insulted. Uh, I guess both the Scottish and the Irish. I think there's some kind of rivalry there. Hmm... I'm not that impressed. Let's just skip everything and like let's really let's try to hew to a thinner a thinner deck, okay? We're not doing a great job with it so far, but I believe that we can do this. Don't split. Okay. Good. You never want to hear 
about slimes misbehaving. And I feel like you hear about it way too much. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. It's an interesting choice. I think there's no reason not to do it, for sure. Um, just because, like, it doesn't really hurt us if this takes a while. You know? Like, if we're just whittling him down slowly, it doesn't really hurt us. I know he's, like, frailing us, but... Man, we got three decks up. Like, we don't have to worry about that. Now we're gonna split him. Eh, 26. Not amazing. But what was he gonna... Okay, well, this allows Crippling Cloud to actually be useful. Neither of them are attacking. I mean, that's looking good. I mean, I'm not scared of slimes licking me. You know, I mean, truly. Like, it doesn't even hurt you. So, they're just, like, being a nuisance. Which seems pretty standard for slimes. They seem like they would just get into a lot of trouble and aren't particularly uh, dangerous. Okay, we can just let Poison take them both. That should be fine. Now you've just got poison slime on the floor. Okay, see, this this is tough. I think I have to take Calculated Gamble, but I mean, you know, I'm trying to keep like a thinner deck, right? We look at this, and we're really running a more defensive deck, but we have Calipers, which is very good. And I know that we could like kind of lean into a Shiv deck meta here, but I think Calculated Gamble is more agnostically useful. So I think we should do that. I was just trying to see if we had enough to, we have enough to get anything. Hey, 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 you know how we didn't take a Blade Dance earlier? But now we could. So I think I'll do that. I know, I know. Things are already getting out of hand. But just trust me. Okay, I've got to make it so the Calculated Gamble doesn't exhaust. I, it drives me crazy when it does. Um, you know, I'm one of those people who, like, hoards items in video games. You know? And so, like, I have this whole issue where, like, oh, if it exhausts, like, I'll just keep Calculated Gamble the entire fight. Just, like, sitting there being like, oh, but what if I need it more later in the fight? I say, as I just patently refuse. Oh, I had enough energy. That's right, I keep creating my Sozu situation. Um, okay, and that shouldn't matter. The order is fine there. Okay, well, I take four damage, but it's okay. But yeah, so and that's where I find myself, you know, just sitting here with this calculated gamble, doing nothing with it. What would I really be trying to draw? I mean, honestly, I'm, like, I don't think there's anything too special I'm looking for. So I'm not going to play Calculated Gamble, but once we get those burns in the deck, I mean, we can start saying no thank you to them. Okay. Oh, oh, I, sh I should I should have blocked more for Calipers, for Calipers' sake. We gotta remember, we've got kind of like the, not quite ice cream meta going on, but like almost, almost like ice cream for a uh, block. Let's see what we draw, huh? Okay, nothing impressive. This just breaks block. We don't have anything that like, actually benefits from that, so not super important. We get the boot, but nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and survivor, and this way we don't have to take the damage. We'll retain a little bit of block, not a ton, but something. This is fine. I'll calculate a gamble now, looking for something more exciting. Okay, sure. Kind of stacking a block, almost doing like a weird sort of ironclad-esque barricade build. But I mean, of course, we don't know what we're really doing yet. Um, since we just have, I don't know. I mean, we have an 18 card deck, so you'd think we'd know our meta, but I mean, I don't know. It's just the end of the first floor. Who knows where, what the second floor will bring us, you know? I mean, this guy's already gotten around the horn twice, which is, like, not great. Okay. I mean, we don't save anything for calipers, but... Okay, maybe we, like, sweep, maybe get rid of all of this. Hopefully we don't get another burn. Hmm... Yeah, truly. Yeah, it's not nearly enough block, I agree. Hmm. Uh, no way to get rid of those, huh? That sucks. We will take some damage here. I'm gonna slow playing this Hexaghost. I don't really love to see it, to be honest. No point, really, with that. I guess we'll just go ahead and keep rolling with our defense. We should do this. That way, this can, Tori can be useful sooner rather than later. Still taking some damage. Yeah, see, this sucks. Like, we get to this point, a handful of burns. I mean, we might not make it. We might be slow playing it too much. Especially with the hexagos, we're around the horn again. Look at that. Jesus. So many burns. Okay. Well, we only take four damage from this, this turn, but then we'll get more burns, right? 
At least they don't have like a burn plus plus. Oh, the size of the deck. No, you're completely right. Uh, at least for for some of the for some of the ones that uh, the decks that you roll for sure. I'm sure the 18 seems like uh, not nearly enough. Okay, I think we'll get a little boost from the boot if we do these. I think we should take the time to weaken it. We're down to 34 for the hexaghost. I think we'll be fine. Hey, look, 18. Nice magic number here. Um, not quite the number I want to see for my health, but hey, clearly uh, we are not going to be choosy beggars here. Hopefully we don't lose. I mean, like we're... Oh, that's dangerous, huh? Okay. Will this kill us? Will the burns kill us? This is 16 damage. And then this is... The, the burns are going to kill us. Or we will die due to burns. You understand. That's so awful. Oh, and a score of 144? Clearly. This is just reinforcing what I already think. Which is, of course, that... um. Okay, but what if we did it again? <laughs> Hang on, when do, we, when do we see a shop? This guy's here, right? So we get a shop at the end. We get a rest. We get like one elite here if we so choose. Come on, let's do it again. Oh, Runic Pyramid? I mean, I don't even know how you build a deck for that. You know? I, I don't think it reinforces the concept that love is the answer. I'm going to be honest with you. Um... Yeah, that Sozu build, I felt like we had something, we had something going there. And it's really, it's a real shame about losing that one. Um, let's see. Well, I mean, at least we were able to kind of put the smack down this little guy. See, this is why I always try to like, after I lose with a particular character, I usually go out of my way to try to, uh, let's get this out of here, play something else. Like, play a different character. So, like, normally I would switch over to the defect for our ascensions. But clearly I just was, like, carried away by, um, my, my rage here. Well, I mean, a bouncing flask is good. You know, it really is. I shouldn't complain. I would like to remove a card from my deck. We'll start getting those strikes out of here. And the defense. I mean, just get rid of all your class ba- or your non-class basics. Hmm, we gotta do this. We want this one to to take the uh, poison damage. So, we'll live with it. Okay, I mean, there's no point here. So, let's just keep rolling. Um, and I guess I'll just quickly end it. I mean, we can Bouncing Flask if we really love the animation, but <laughs> that's the only time I think it would be particularly useful. Okay. I, I gotta, I gotta, like, control myself, but what if it had upgraded something that I wanted? Listen, I know it didn't, but if it had, you know, think of the world we'd be in. Probably a utopia, if I were guessing. I mean, okay, so this one will die, which is great. And then we can focus on this one, and now it'll die to poison too, so let's just be brave and assume that we don't, we don't need to block, okay? Like, I have that much faith in my mental math. That's, that's where we're at in my life. We really shouldn't be. Uh, last stream, I think I, I miscalculated when I would die. So <laughs> we shouldn't be too confident, but at the same time. Okay, I guess we'll do this and block like this. I don't want to waste the defend plus since we've got this whole runic pyramid situation going on. I wish I, I knew kind of a better way to... Okay, well, at least we clear off the artifacts, okay? I just kind of wish I knew a better way to... I should have blocked. I should have blocked. To build around Runic Pyramid. And like it doesn't count for Retain either. I looked into this, by the way. Um, I tried it. There was a particular build where I tried it. To see if Runic Pyramid would work for Retain cards. You know, like how... Um, there's a... What do I want to do here? I feel like I want to just go ahead and do something like this. That way I'll, we'll save this. Maybe we can even kill this guy before we use Bouncing Flask. So it's not quite so much of a waste. But hey, whatever. Anyway, um, I can't for the life of me think of that Watcher card. But anyway, you may recall that the Watcher has... Of course. Hmm. Okay. Has that, uh... That card that makes it so that, you know, every retained card costs one less each turn. 
And so I was like, oh man, like look at me. I've just, I've come up with this perfect build. And I was like so pleased. Anyway, it turns out to not work that way. I guess this doesn't count as retention. In, in that establishment, yes, that's exactly right. Thank you. I love the name as well, Praetorgeist. Pretty great, nice Praetorian Poltergeist combination there. I mean, it does bring back, you know, traumatic memories of Apex, but... Oh, bullet time! That's a good idea. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, he'll die to poison, so we can just leave that be. Oh, shovel? I mean, that's great. Uh, assuming we can, like, afford to use it at campfires. Which, maybe I should have taken a more campfire-heavy path, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if that's the, uh, the appropriate response there, the you-know-whatever, but, um... I think there's a place for it. Okay, we got a strike here. Let's see, bouncing flask. That's not bad. And I honestly, like, for once I won't complain about a fairly even spread there, because I'm, well, out of energy, obviously. Don't get spoiled to the last run with Sozu on the first floor. Like, don't get spoiled. Uh, and I kind of want to make this a little more equitable for them. This one will die. Oh, this one will die too. Okay, well, I guess balancing out the damage is not super important there then. Okay. Hmm. I'm never going to keep, like, a zero-cost card in my hand like that, you know? Uh, Endless Agony is interesting, uh, with Runic Pyramid, I think, but... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, fair. I'll skip for now, I just, I'm always making the deck a little too large. I, I mean, I'm planning on taking this Elite here, so I'm going to go ahead and rest, despite the allure of Dig. Pretty painful. Okay, um, I'm definitely going to take Matryoshka. I mean, I feel like I have no guarantee I'm even going to survive this fight. So, I mean, like, don't count your chickens before they hatch, you know? Um, hmm, I should probably wait. Like, honestly, because we have Runic Pyramid, I think I'm just going to wait on both of these because I know I'm not going to attack in this turn. I was actually looking for Bouncing Flask, but our hand is going to be full. So, I guess I'll go ahead and, like, play a couple of Defends. Just to make room in the hand. Okay, perfect. Now I can throw Bouncing Flask on. It won't be, a, well, it'll be a waste if I play Neutralize there, so I'll just leave it be. That's alright. Sure, I mean, I'm not too upset by that. We can go ahead and stack this on. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I mean, we'll find out if, uh, it's, if I am capable of getting Runic Pyramid to work or not. I mean, we're only on Ascension 1, so it shouldn't be, like, that bad. And hopefully these, these stacks of poison on the log of one help us keep going, you know? But, um, yeah, so hopefully, either way. Okay, well, that's kind of a waste. We'll just go ahead and hit it fairly hard, since we didn't get Bouncing Flask, which, like, no big deal. You can't draw it every time, even if it's a 13-card deck. This is fine, keep him weak. I think that's probably a valid strategy. Thank you. Okay, we got Bouncing Flask again. And this way, I think he'll die next turn regardless. So I think we should be fairly good to go. It's a real shame to like, not have that many relics. I don't know why I'm wasting my time attacking. Okay. I mean, Meal Ticket is not, like, incredible, but, I mean, Catalyst is, I think, pretty good since our only really significant card is a Poison card. Um, and we got Leg Sweep, right? A nice defensive card, but... Ooh, I don't know. Okay, okay. I was thinking about, I was seriously considering cutting us off there, but at the same time, I also know better than to even say anything because I'm very, um... I'm very inclined not to, to do that. I'll just be like, oh, no, we'll only do one more. And then I'm like, ooh, what, one more? Yeah, it's true. It's true. Catalyst is, is a good combination there. Hmm. Well, I always like removing cards. I mean, I'd like to just, like, remove another defend. But I also would really like... Oh, we can afford, like, oddly smooth stone still. I think that, that works out. And then we don't have to, like, 
I don't know, work as hard for our blocks. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got a little question mark combat. I always feel at least a little bit robbed from these, but like, I understand, I understand. I don't want to pop the region potion yet. I'll probably pop it at the boss because I expect that fight to last a little bit longer. So, um, I think that that is pretty good. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right, honestly. A lot of the combats are better than, uh, than the blocks. Or, I mean, than the events. Sorry, I'm thinking about whether or not, uh, I have, am going to have too many blocks in my hand there. Okay. They still won't split. I'm trying to be intentional about when I split them. Uh, so I say, and then immediately have failed. Uh, very exciting. Ah, hello, Ryan Raid. Welcome to the stream. Um, okay, so maybe... Like, maybe we just do that. And then we just get working on this slime and try to clear it out. Okie dokie. I mean, I'd love to throw this bouncing flask out there. Okay, so we could catalyst here, and I know it's kind of ridiculous, but if we catalyst, it'll just wipe this one off the board. No point in wasting the weakness from neutralize, although our hand is basically full. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Okay, we can weaken him. We can take no damage, too. Kind of ridiculous to, like, pull out all the stops against a small slime like this, but that's fine. Okay, and then we can... Nine poison, I mean, that's pretty good. And then I think if we attack, we'll just we'll be done with the fight. Yes, yes. I, like, took a second, did the math in my head. And yes, thank you very much, Ryan, for the raid. I super appreciate it. Okay, so last time... Hmm. Hmm. Calculated Gamble's kind of a weird one with Runic Pyramid, isn't it? Because, I mean, like, it would be nice to have, and especially when your hand gets full, I think it might be worth it to just go ahead and take it, because that way I have the option to just kind of go full Scorched Earth if we get, like, a hand that I really hate, and I wind up... Like, it's fine if I have a thin deck now, right? And that's always my plan, you know, keep a thin deck. But that's not always how it works out. Oh, that's such a shame. I love getting the membership card and then um, completely cluttering up my deck. I guess it's probably for the best I don't have that, if we're being honest. Uh, I like Caltrops. It's a pretty safe get, I think, because it's not going to clutter the... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> right? I think it's not going to clutter this up too much. And I think it's okay that I'm not removing another card this time. Honestly, we should probably ban, given that, you know, this is shaping up to be a poison run. Okay, it's the Hexaghost, right? I just died to the Hexaghost the last run I had. So that's not great, but we weren't doing, we weren't really doing a poison build last time. We have Catalyst, we have Calculated Gamble, we have Bane. I think we can risk digging. Okay, Juzu Bracelet was definitely not what I was hoping to get. Uh, not excellent, but that's fine. I mean, with Runic Pyramid, we'll just chill, see what happens this turn. We still don't get any poison yet. What a shame. Okay, well, I think it's really important that we get Caltrops out there, though. Real shame that I threw a Defend on first, because I love the Leg Sweep. But, you know, that way, when it hits us, um, we won't take nearly as much damage. So I think that's important. Alright. So, finally, I got that Bouncing Flask I was hoping for. We can neutralize him. I mean, honestly, we could Bane if we wanted. But, I mean, the poison's still gonna be there. Let's be, like, a little defensive. Okay, last time I was too defensive and it cost us. But, this time I think it would still behoove us to be, like, just a little defensive. And then we can Bane. I don't think we need to calculate a gamble yet. I'm not too worried about, you know, a two damage burn. When we're already, like, over blocking, I think we're fine. Let me get that out of the way. It's true, it is a little bit like the gremlin knob in terms of, like, getting the damage out there. What would I actually want to draw? I guess I am hoping to draw my bouncing flask, so let's go ahead and calculate a gamble. It's a shame it exhausts. I should have upgraded it, probably, especially if I'd known that this was going to be juicy and bracelet, but hey. Hmm, sure, we'll throw this out there. <laughs> what a, what an awful ink bottle to get. I mean, that's just, like, the worst. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so, um, I don't want a catalyst yet. I feel like we could we could get better than this. We can keep his uh, weakness on. I mean, I think it just lights one fire every turn, right? I, that's my understanding of the way that it functions. But I'll be honest, um, playing Downfall has probably clouded my mind a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's obviously like a great mod, but like it, I'm like, oh, well, you know, sometimes, but then I like want to go into the whole like pattern that it does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> connect to turn seven. Also true. Um, okay, I think that's fine. I can use Bane next turn. I didn't want to waste it now. I mean, I know we would do like a little bit of damage, but. So we'll go ahead and throw that out there. Get this going. That way we don't take any damage from that burn. Should be good. Okay. And then let's see. Okay, if we double the enemy's poison, then we'll almost have it done. And sure, like just play, play our energy out. Nice. Okay, liquid bronze is good. I mean, unload is oddly useful. I mean, I guess uh, I guess unload becomes way more of like a double-edged sword, right? Because it has a lot more utility discarding all the non-attack cards in your hand, but it's also potentially much worse depending on like, you know, what I'm trying to save up. I don't know. I feel like after image is just so agnostically good and it enables you to fight the heart better. I'm going to take it. Uh, Astrolabe is not horrible. I mean, we could get rid of some strikes, maybe a defend. We don't have that many expensive cards, do we? I mean, we got leg sweep, we got bouncing flask, but that's about it. So I would just go ahead and let's take a little Astrolabe. We'll do two strikes and a defend. We got blur doppelganger and <laughs> masterful stab. Well, I mean, at least it makes it fit the uh, the more traditional roguelike archetype, you know, play well, get rewarded. So, okay. So we want to hit as many rests as possible with dig, I think, at our, at our fingertips. So we could potentially get like three, right? That's our maximum. So we could hit, I mean, this is like a heavy question mark path, but then we get up to here and we would have to, okay, so here would work. We could fight this elite, then we'd have this elite. Okay, and if we took this path, then we get a shop at the end, which might be valuable. But then we don't take any elites, or we just take, yeah, I mean, we get totally robbed of all elites if we do that, except, oh, okay. Okay, cool, that's what I'm gonna do then. Oh, nice. Looks like we just met our follower goal. Very exciting. Here, let me go ahead and update that. Uh, right here. Um, there we go. Uh, and let me see. Perfect. Okay, and then I should move that over more if I'm trying to show that. But honestly, thank you very much. Very exciting. Okay, so we've committed to this kind of weird path that still gets us an elite and three campfires. And hopefully, we don't have uh, any further issues. Okay, I guess I could... Uh, gosh, I don't know. I mean, we can blur here, but that's like not super valuable to us at this point. Because I mean, we could just play blur when, when we need it. I mean, we will need it next turn. Let's... I know, I know it's weird, but let's do that, because we'll at least get more energy. Even if we don't need the extra card draw, the extra energy would be nice. So we can after image now, we can successfully caltrops, and then, you know, I don't know. Since we don't have any poison, we can go a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> well, at least it's not a waste. Okay. So, I mean, we're gonna have to, like waste all of his artifacts here. It's kind of a shame that I don't have any cheaper poisons because this is kind of an expensive poison to throw out there. At least we can weaken him. I mean, that's actually useful. I'm just kind of whittling him down. It's times like these I wish we had Melter, you know? Or at least Prismatic Shard to give us the chance for Melter, you know? I think Masterful Stab is fine. I think this is fine too. Keep him weakened. 
And we still have yet to apply poison. Looks like we might never actually manage to do it this fight. We might just kill him first. Oh, okay. Never mind. I stand corrected. Okay, well, we double his poison. This would do 14 damage, so we would do two extra, and this would double his poison, and that would be enough to kill him. Okay, yeah, cool. This mental math. I can do it. If I, if I try hard enough, I guess. I'm not getting rid of the regen potion, that's for sure. Hmm... I don't know, I like a poison potion. I, I guess I should... We already have caltrops, right? We have our own caltrops. Yeah, so I feel like the thorns potion, it's good, but at least a block potion gives me some kind of uh, desperate last-ditch thing. Throw another blur on? I mean, I guess. Well, we don't need any healing. So this is my chance for a cheaper poison, a second bouncing flask, I mean... Mm, honestly, let's do a second bouncing flask. I know it's kind of expensive, but we can hold on to it when we draw it, so, you know, we've got options. Go ahead and throw this out here. I mean, I think leg sweep, uh, this has happened to us twice now, and I, I think it just exists to hurt us at this point. We only draw it when we don't have the energy to draw it anymore, and it's always thanks to Ink Bottle. Like, I used to think Ink Bottle was at least a, a neutral entity. But when I'm looking at this now, I mean, it feels like Ink Bottle is more of a malevolent entity. Okay, I guess we'll just... Uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't want to, like, take any chances of the ones that I'm not going to be able to kill. So I guess that one? Blur well, doesn't really matter here, but it's about the best thing we got. I don't want a survivor, and that's only eight anyway, isn't it? Well, no, I guess it would be the same amount. Yeah, it would be the same. Uh, I'm not crazy about that one. See, he's going to run off with our money, which is fine. I think, well, we won't take this shop. I mean, like, that's just, that's the, the long and short of it. Okay. Cool. No point, really, in applying caltrops. They're not going to hit multiple times. This guy's dead no matter what happens. And this guy we can't kill. Well, well, I mean. Okay. I don't think anything's going to come of this, but just to, like, show our, our rage and frustration at him trying to get away with our money, we'll just, you know, make him have to go and, I guess, spend the money that he got from me on, like, bandages. Okay, so I asked for this, so I'm going to take it. You know, a cheaper poison. Oh, man. I mean, the thing is, right, I really, really like this event. But, like, I'm not... Think about how much bigger it'll make the deck. <sighs> I'm gonna refuse. I'm sorry, vampires. I'm very sorry. Okay, well, this is good. I'm not gonna hit them that many times, right? So, I guess we can go ahead and do that. I mean, like, I'm not gonna hit it three times. So there's, like, no real point there. Not gonna interrupt it or make the bird drop or whatever. So, not much of a point. This will hit him twice. And we don't have any attacks. And even if he hits himself with caltrops on us, it's not going to have any useful impacts. I'm actually going to hold on to Bane. And I'll blur too, so we don't waste any of the block. I think that is probably the best call we can do there. And let's see. Well, Catalyst is kind of useless here. But we can Bane. And that should have hit him twice, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Well, that worked as expected. And I guess we'll just keep it up. I know we can play Caltrops, and we probably should, but that's all right. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to neutralize her, because that just seems, that seems excessive. And I guess if I throw Bouncing Flask, I just have to pray. <laughs> okay, well, it, it almost worked out for me. And then I suppose... This is probably the best one I've got. I'll throw out a defend. This is dumb. This is dumb. But, I mean, it prevents us from taking a little bit of damage. It might have some value. These dazes are kind of ridiculous. But I guess this uh, protects us a little bit from them. Because this way we can just kind of avoid that. Okay. Well, I know that she's going to complain, but I would much rather do this. And then honestly, we'll just leave it. I mean, I guess we're not, like, 
getting too many more new cards. And yeah, of course, my hand is full, but it's okay. Let's see. Hmm, Catalyst will kill her. And I mean, who cares, you know? Fill my hand up with dazes. You're done for. Okay, Finisher's not great. I mean, Predator's not great either, really, since we're keeping a full hand all the time. Okay, here's a real test. I always feel like the second floor bosses are much harder than the... Hmm. We should probably just do that. Uh, I feel like the second floor bosses are harder than the first or the third floor bosses, which I know is probably kind of a weird take, but it's like the second floor, you're still kind of finding your footing, right? Like the first floor, they, like the developers know you're just not going to have that much going on. So like they never give you anything like too wild, you know? But when it comes to, yeah, there's no way to like weaken anybody or anything. This is probably going to go on long enough that we can get some value out of our regen potion. You know, so they don't give anything too crazy that you could like legitimately never handle, right? But, hmm, that sucks. I want to throw a leg sweep on that guy, but what I want even more than that is for this one to die. So that's what we'll do. Wait for him to die. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I would be, like, really interested to see, like, the actual statistics on it because it really does feel like this would have to be, like, where most runs wind up ending. Hmm. I need to get him out of here. I guess we could cow trot. And then, I don't know. I don't want to take any damage. I'd really rather, like, attack someone, but we don't have anything for that. I mean, this is dumb. I guess I'll just do that, though. At least we get it out of the hand, too. So, it's useful. Yeah, and then, I mean, like, by the third floor, like, you either have something good going or, like, you don't. You know? <laughs> like, you either aren't going to last very long into the third floor or, I guess, like, you'll skate by on the skin of your teeth the entire time. Um, but, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Man, maybe we're, like, over-relying on poison because, I mean... Well, these are literally, like, all of my useful poison cards, so. Hmm, let's do it. I want to get some more poison cards out there. We get this. This is fine, I think. Ah, uh, because, I mean, we poison this guy. Right, because I want him to definitely die by next turn, so I don't have to try to, like, block his 20-something damage. But then, I mean, like, what are we going to do with Bouncing Class? This will give us 14 damage. It's enough for him to just die this turn, which maybe is enough for this guy to leave us alone. I don't know what his, I don't remember what his threshold is for that, but, um, you know, where he'll summon or, like, buff himself or whatever. We'll go ahead, we'll try to block some. I mean, a little bit of self-preservation is probably good. Okay, well, he is leaving us alone. I don't know if that was, like, big brain strats or if we're just lucky, but, like, I'll take it either way. And then... Would really love to just kill this guy, and I know he's gonna do some damage, so like, uh, fine. Lame. But it's fine. Well, and I mean, slowly but surely he's killing himself on us. Oof! Now, of course, three of these gremlins and this guy. That's not what I would like to see. Love the masterful stab because it stays in my hand is constantly a reminder of how much damage I've taken this turn. It's pretty great. Uh, kind of ridiculous there, honestly. Hmm. Well, if we're not necessarily killing anybody. It'd be nice to kill somebody, though. I guess I have to worry about, like, if we're going to live, though. Here, let's do this. Let's get rid of Masterful Stab. Okay, well, Deadly Poison will be nice. This hand is basically full. So that's not nice. Okay. Take quite a bit. Yeah. Seven damage. Who would I... We can do seven damage and this to get 14 to kill this one. Which is... I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of relying on it to, like, get me through killing him, but... I don't know. At this point, we gotta get rid of them, though. This is just nine damage. We don't have any potions. So, maybe we throw this one out here. This one doesn't actually attack us this turn. And we still take a little damage. Okay, well, I think we'll basically... I think we'll probably just die here, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. 
If we weaken him, maybe that helps. This is 14 damage. We can kill this one. But yeah, well, okay, that didn't work because I didn't have any poison. And anyway, we're dead. So, exciting. Um, <laughs> nice. A <laughs> masterful stab is here to remind me. I'm surprised it didn't update right away. I was hoping to see 11. Okay, painful, painful. And see, not even if like finish those unlocks. I don't even know what we're missing, you know? Okay, well, maybe we try our luck with an Ascension one with the defect, okay? We try with the defect. That we, there's no possibility that in my mind I get confused and think like, oh, I have Sozu, I have Sozu, I have plenty of energy. So we'll just keep going and just, you know, move on from character to character as we fail. Um, I'm curious about obtaining 100 gold. We can hit a really early shop or we can hit this early shop. Yeah, this makes more sense because I don't want to hit two shops back to back. We could take the 100 gold, take this shop here, this elite, this elite, and then just like, you know, cross, cross our fingers, close our eyes, pray, and then make it up here. Okay, we'll go for it. So this is our approach. Yep, okay. Just like the simulations, we go up this way. I have definitely gotten very spoiled to the Slave Aspire with Friends mods. Um, it lets you draw on the map. And like, I understand that this is, this is like my own brain and therefore I should consciously remember what like, I, what like path I just charted for myself, but it's routine for me to like pick the wrong one. So, um, perfect, okay, nice. Hmm. Well, Tempest is really fun. I mean, it's not going to pay off a ton for us right now. But. Okay. That's cool. I should actually probably check it out. Um, I've been thinking I need to put Minty Spire back on at the very least. I mean, I like a loop. I think we can afford to take a loop and we can still remove a strike. So that's not bad. We'll keep wiggling up this way. I mean, because, you know, Minty Spire kind of lets you uh, cop out a little bit. I guess we should probably hit this one. Ugh, I was thinking if we got lucky, you know, if both of the passives hit that one, then we'd be good. Uh, we could dual cast and Tempest. I mean, two isn't, like, incredible, but it's not bad. Tempest exhausts, right? Yeah, it does. Makes sense. I mean, you can use it to some crazy effects. Nice. Okay, I, I mean, the thing is, like, this is, this is the problem, you know? When I see cards like Charge Battery, like, I just, I make, like, I'm like, they're so agnostically good, you know? <laughs> I know they're not, like, absolutely mind-blowing, but I feel like they're pretty valuable on their own. Okay, well, block perfectly? Yeah. But, I mean, I'll clearly just use something like Minty Spire as a way to, you know, actually, Kill them both, right? Nice. Avoid doing mental math. Uh, I really like a recursion. I know, I know. But we could get a recursion, and if we get a chance to upgrade these, I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, That's a little weird. I'm going to take a fusion instead. I, I like that loop is just persistently on sale here. I was like, I'm pretty sure I just bought one of those. But yeah, we can go ahead and do this. We can still afford a second loop. Okay, okay. I mean, you talked me into it. I think now that we've officially taken uh, two powers, I'm pretty sure that's like the, the seed has reshuffled itself to guarantee us an awakened one, right? That's how it feels. Anyway, we'll go ahead and leave this be. I mean, if we get a Tempest with this one. Ugh, I was hoping we get a Tempest with this four. That's fine. Does this wake him up? No, because it'll start at the beginning. Okay. Oh, man. See, we could, right? Or I could, like, fusion and loop. And then we can Tempest later when we have more. It's true. I definitely agree. Some of these cards are just, you know, just straight up good. Which is hard to complain about, honestly. I mean, I'm pretty good at finding things to complain about, but... Okay, but then if we go ahead and we play all these, we can still defend. Which is not terrible, honestly. And we can just do recursion. It's better than a strike. And I mean, it's going to be better than a strike too, as like we are 
consistently weakened by this little friend here. Honestly, we'll just go ahead and dual cast, try to get through the Log of Volan. Okay, this is a good, a reasonably good turn. I mean, it could have been. It could have been a reasonably good turn if we hadn't drawn nothing but a hand of defense. But seriously, we should be able to get through this now. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We have plenty of energy. Huh. I mean, Ornamental Fan isn't really what I was looking for unless we wound up with, um... I don't know, Barrage? Barrage can be pretty useful. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna skip. We have a 15-card deck. I want to be responsible. I'm gonna skip. I'm not... I, I can't afford to lose... I mean, to lose... 7 HP like this. This will probably kill me, depending on who this is. Ugh. Well, I mean, you know what they say. No guts, no glory, you know? Yeah, after images lets you fight the heart. I mean, I feel like it, like, straight up just enables you to fight the heart in a way that, you know, is just way less tenable with the silent if you don't have it. So, I mean, obviously this hurts. We can put loop on and that's fine. I'm going to do that. I know it's going to piss him off. Honestly, like, if there's any chance, maybe Ritual is worth doing. But, I mean, look at that already, you know? Maybe we just dual cast? Look at that. He's almost going to kill us already. Well, we definitely should have played the Dex Potion. Let's see if this will keep us alive. Tempest, don't entice me to waste you. That's ridiculous. Uh, I think even if we do this, I don't think we get there. No. No. Oh, that one's so fast. That was, like, devastating in just a matter of moments. Okay, but like I said, we're gonna just, we're just gonna move down the list, and then we'll restart with, you know, the same three that we're working on. Okay, um, this one will be interesting, because we'll get to see my obsession with trying to make a pressure points build <laughs> work. So, <laughs> hopefully I can control myself. Okay, if I want to take this fight. This is a path with two shops. And <laughs> no resting until the end. Okay, great. A little weird, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay, we can get these out here at least. I mean, with the, the Watcher... Obviously, you kind of just get this whole, the whole glass cannon build. Very cool, very fun when it works right. Uh, it never works right for me, so I'm always like vaguely frustrated. Uh, that doesn't make it not fun though, to be honest. And then, I mean, like any of the divinity ones are pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> pressure points really does. It it does. Uh, not lie. No false advertising there. Is what I'm trying to say. I mean, an empty body is good, depending on, like, what direction we take this. But we got a lot, you know, we have plenty of combats here that should give us the opportunity to test our metal and get some cards that are, you know, maybe we'll get an early alpha. God, like, I love those alpha, alpha, beta. What's the last one? You know the one. Omega is what I think it is. But anyway, okay, we do this. We can afford one and then we go back here yeah omega's pretty fun uh, we should do that ignore the slimed well i guess we could have played it but it doesn't matter because we're definitely killing it this turn no particular healing but that's cool <sighs> okay and this adds an insight doesn't it i mean it's cheap and I want to keep the deck, like, painfully thin for, like, the first couple of cards. Because we're going to hit two separate shops before we get our first um, shiny lean. I don't know what the actual verbiage is that we use here. But I feel like um, shiny lean works for me. Anyway, before we hit that first one. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This is a really strange one. I guess we could do this and we can empty body, too, if we're... A little nervous. It would be really bad to like, oh god, no, we should have just stayed in it. <laughs> That's the only way we could have gotten this kill. Ah, okay. Is Zeta not real? Like, Zeta seems like it would it would be 
the last letter, but I guess that's only because I'm looking at it from, um, you know, Roman alphabet standpoint. And since Z is the last one for us, that's what I think about. I'm not trying to do fasting. That's wild. Uh, oh, fruit juice doesn't hurt. Yeah, look, establishment. Speak of the devil. Hmm. There's a pressure point. There's a pressure point here. <laughs> oh, man. I know better than to live like this. I really do. Okay. It's a real letter, at least. That's good. Yeah, I should probably brush up on my Greek. Because I am not very fluent on it. I mean, clearly I've let my mental math lapse, so I'm clearly not prioritizing any complex math either, probably. Although I suppose, I mean, it is fair. You never really use, like, when you're doing, um, like, when you're doing calculus, it's not like anyone's over there, like, oh, what, you didn't do the calculus, like, the, the actual, like, numerical parts in your head. How dare you? You know, nobody, nobody acts like that, so. Actually, I guess we should just do this. Hmm. Well, we're not going to be attacking anybody. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that is kind of the, the classic way. Okay, oh god, look, we can't afford it. We're, we are a dollar short. That is so awful. Okay, cool. Well. Painful. Okay, I guess we'll start by putting on this one because this one won't need very many. And I'll just go ahead and I'll block. I mean, we only take one damage from him. I mean, because you're basically just wanting, like, when you're running a pressure points build, you really just want pressure points, you know? And, yeah, cool. We'll let that one go. And, like, defensive cards. I mean, that's my understanding anyway. Which, of course, does not make it correct. I was actually thinking I would kill that one this turn, and oh my god, am I not going to, because that's the worst. Okay, well that was clearly foolish. Just the most foolish. I was like, no, 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 I'll kill it anyway with my strike. Uh, and obviously that didn't happen. Okay, look, we're not going to let that happen to us again. And honestly, like, this fight is almost over. So let's just try to avoid taking any more unnecessary damage. Bottle Miracle's pretty good. That's not super useful, and I probably should leave it be. Okay, let's see who we get. I was a little worried it was them. Because this can be devastating, to put it mildly. I mean, we gotta, like, clear off their artifact. We got some bottled miracles and a power. Maybe I should take the power potion. We're not gonna be creating cards. Study might be worth it, because we're not retaining anything either. But we can at least have an insight, and so we can get through the fact that they're going to clutter up our deck. I mean, this this can help us. Okay, we'll get working on that last one. And we'll just try not to take too much damage. <laughs> they should sell merch for that, you know. Number one anti-fan. Okay, so we can vigilance, and we can empty body. Which means we can then insight. And I wasn't really looking for any more of that. Doesn't matter if we play the defend or not, but that's cool. We can leave it be. Okay. Uh, I mean, eruption is, is tempting and all. But I, I'd also like to not die this turn. So, I mean, I prefer not to die. Uh, period, you know. Uh, it'd be great to just conquer the heart. But I think... I will settle for not dying this particular turn. <laughs> it's true. The sentries are pretty rough. I mean, I don't know. Um, I once had an ironclad uh, run where we had uh, fire breathing. I had an upgraded fire breathing. And with that one, I mean, like, it was such a smooth, easy fight. Like, I had no complaints, you know. And it was very, very simple. Uh, I guess we can do this. Throw another one here. It's not terrible. And I figure we'll keep one more in sight. Yeah, pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna see if we can end sight into anything better. We can't, so I'll, I'll take our two defends and I'll be happy about it. We got any rest sites? 
<laughs> rest stops. It's like a road trip up the spire. Okay. Kind of. We kind of do, depending on how things go. Oh, I'm certainly not going to take eruption this turn, but we can kill this one, finally, at last, which will be valuable. Sure, we'll empty body. Honestly? <sighs> Come on. Still not enough. Okay. Well, I mean, we got enough uh, gear. We're not going to take any damage. That's all right. Oh, look, we even overshielded. Uh, all right. Will this kill him? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll take what we get. We'll take nine damage here, but I think, assuming that the draw doesn't totally screw us, I think we'll be okay, probably. <laughs> uh, we can't guarantee we'll draw Vigilance, so we probably... I don't know. Okay. Look, if we're going to die, let's let's just do it. Let's do it with some flair. Because if the draw is bad enough this upcoming turn, we can we can lose it anyway, right? Okay, look. Look at that. Oof. Okay, I don't have to live with the consequences of those actions, at least. All right. We take no damage. And I mean, that saved us a little damage from the last one. We potentially could have taken um, four damage, which I mean, when you're at nine health, it is a significant amount of damage. Okay, this is okay. Maybe not exactly how I'd want it to go. Whatever. Be nice if we draw another insight. Uh, cool. Um, I'm honestly like, I know we could probably hit it twice there, but I think it makes more sense because this way we can theoretically get out of this. Hmm. Well, I might just get pressure points. So I was going to do eruption, but is there a point? If we eruption, we'll get too calm. We can go back into it, and then, okay. I think, well, we had two, so I guess we would have taken no damage. I guess it would have been slightly better. Anyway, I think that may have been, like, the world's longest sentry fight ever, dear God. Uh, that was a little awful. Uh, I'll take an evaluate, honestly. Those insights, like, I'm kind of sold on them now. I don't, I don't want curses in my deck. There's no way. I just don't want them. That's not for this, this. <laughs> Did they hear me or not? Um, I mean, honestly, it's probably worth the free heal, unfortunately. <laughs> you give in to the unnatural desire <laughs> to eat. That's how I feel about having to eat three times a day as a person. You know, I mean, like, that's an unnatural desire to eat. Anyway, if we're really trying to rely on this, we should upgrade it. I can hit another campfire after this question mark. I mean, it might be... I don't know. I mean, depending on like what our question marks are... Okay, we should play it safe. We should heal at this one. That way we don't just straight up eat it. Okay, we got Matryoshka. And I think that we should not push our luck any further. Right? I find it to be... Oh, look at this. Fossilized Helix? Rude. Just absolutely rude. We don't need crush joints, so I don't care if there's a sale on it. Honestly, Perseverance is a good card for, you know, trying to have a good defense situation. Okay, this sucks, but I would really like extra money. I don't want to curse. We've already got Parasite, right? So we're already going to be taking some max HP damage. I mean, honestly, we should probably just do this. And then that, that forces us to rest, which sucks. It does, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, at least we get started here. We shuffle that in there. We begin the pressure point situation. Honestly, it's great to get perseverance here. And I probably just want to cycle. Okay. Okay, so now we get the slime crush situation. We can go ahead and get into calm. We can evaluate, get another insight going. We'll survive. Um, I mean, empty body's great and all, but we don't actually need it this turn, so we'll do this. Come on, pressure points. I know it's a 14-card deck, and I've done this to you, but... Okay, it's not gonna split. We can do this. That's not bad. Okay. 
Um. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, okay. If we pressure points, he still won't split, right? He's doing enough to kill us this turn. But relax. Everything's under control. Okay. How much will this actually do? So 8 plus 16, 24. He won't split. So we're fine to do it. We're also fine. We're also going to eruption, right? Because he'll split at 70. And we don't do anything else. And then we can Vigilance again. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? I think I'm going to bottle Miracle so we can get rid of both of these slimes. Because I just... I don't want them here. Given that the deck only really works if it's very thin. Same thing here. And then we're going to, you know, wait and hopefully draw pressure points. Yeah, we didn't yet. But maybe soon, maybe soon. Seriously? No way. Well, that's terrible. Because I really don't want to have to... We obviously can't survive this. So we have to just go ahead and strike. But it's garbage, and I hate it. So I just want to go ahead and put that out there. I guess we could have played Perseverance? Yeah. Oof. Okay, let's see what happens next. Um, basically our options are what? We can block most of this, yeah? So we don't have to die here. We go ahead, we get these out here. We start with that. We won't die, right? Yeah, we take one damage. Okay. We have these pressure points, finally. That's where you went. We can do this so we can play a little bit more. Is that... We still won't die, somehow. We survive with one HP on this turn. And then we just hope for the best. I mean, it's another 21. And I guess I just try to clear those out. Those slimes, slowly but surely. Will it split? It'll split. I don't know if that was really what I wanted. But... Okay, we'll try to get those out of there. I mean, there's no way I think we survived this fight. Yeah, I think that's I think that's now completely clear. At least we will die with all of the enemies really mad at us. Okay, perfect. So now we've come full circle. And we get to go back to the silent. At last. You know, my favorite character. Not perhaps the character I'm best at, but certainly my favorite one. And I think we've been making it at least to the first boss normally, so, you know. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so this is probably the path I'm going to take. This one that goes up this way. Okay, it's nothing crazy, honestly. Let's do it. Okay, Black Star, we may have to completely rethink our path. <laughs> How many elites can we hit? We can hit three. And potentially some rests. I mean, after two elites, we got one rest. And then after this elite, another rest. Theoretically, we could, we could get a, a pretty good start with the let's go ahead and get this out there um we could get a pretty good start on getting some relics um so i'll swap between each character as we lose which normally takes me longer but uh clearly i'm i'm in rare form today so it's you know we're quickly getting through them um to theoretically right i don't know if this is actually works Oh, swapping the starter relic? Um, I do adjust with the, the silent. Um, because I really only like Ring of the Serpent, and I don't like the starter Ring of the Snake that much. Because I feel like, you know, the start of combat, it's like, it's like what, like Lantern? You know, and like Lantern is a common relic, right? So it's like, I feel like it's just not as good as potentially some of the boss relics. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's completely screwed me sometimes. So, it's not always perfect, but I guess I could remove a card from the deck. It does feel a little niche to me. I don't know, I do like, I'm going to leave. I don't want to take any damage before we hit our first elite. Eternal Feather, that's not bad. 
I mean, it certainly potentially gives us the ability to uh, upgrade. Okay, well, let's definitely do this. Okay. I mean, we got a fair amount of damage out there. We only took three ourselves. It could be worse, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like um, it's hard to say no to the the defect, like starting with uh, a lightning. I mean, like you get a little bit of passive. Um, I guess it's not really the passivity that's like useful. It's more like you know, what it enables you to do. But yeah, I don't know. I know that other people definitely really do like Ring of the Snake, so I probably am just failing to appreciate it. But here we are. Unfortunately. With me still somewhat uncultured about Slay the Spire. True, true, yeah. Rarity does not always indicate i mean that's i mean clearly very true because even like card rarity is the same way i think that's a fair point um do i want flying me or do i want piercing whale because that's that's the question hmm i guess i'll take this one <laughs> that's pretty wild i don't think i've ever heard of anybody swapping um the defect starter relic I mean, even like, even when I swap Cracked Core for Frosted Core, I tend to miss it. No, I don't mind at all. I'm definitely here to hear your input. And I mean, like, I'm always trying to, like, grow as, um, as a player with Slay the Spire. I probably shouldn't have, like, actually blocked quite so much. Yeah, you can't get the upgrade. Um, that's a skill. I think I'll leave it. I wish I'd crank out these uh, gremlin knob fights fairly quickly, but I feel like the silence is not a great character for going up against him. Okay, I think that's worth it, but I don't know that I can kill him next turn. I can only hope for a neutralize. Jesus. Wow. Oh, interesting. I see, you can't even get it if you're like at that first option. This is horrible draw, and I'm going to die. Oh my god, we'll just play another round with the silent. Because apparently, um, like, I was like, oh, we're going to take three elites. Hell, we're not even going to take one. That makes sense. Yeah, the logic is solid there. I'll just, god, I don't know. If we can hit an elite really early. Theoretically, we could hit this elite for free. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess you're never going to see Frosted Core if you did swap. Which is kind of a shame if you like Frosted Core. I'm going to try it, Meow's Lament, and if we can get lucky and neither of those question marks are combats, then we'll get a free Elite. Let's take a Blade Dance and maybe get a Shiv deck early. Okay, one more. Okay, it worked. Um, let's go ahead and heal the full. And that means we can get a free, a free elite out of it, which is pretty great, actually. We don't always get lucky that way. Yeah, any, any egg early, I think is awesome. I'll skip. We'll go into the shop, maybe we get something good. I mean, I know this doesn't, like, fit with our, our meta, potentially with the shiv meta, but... A noxious fumes is not bad. I mean, it at least like gives us some some kind of recourse if we wind up with something like um, the sentries, you know, when we when we come up on these next two. So that gives us some kind of way out. And then I guess I don't know. I guess I'll take a deadly poison too, in case it's not the sentries. <laughs> okay, so we get the sentries first, which means we can just wipe them out. Oh, ghost in a jar. Very cute. A little disconcerting, you know, the implication that, like all potions, you eat it. You eat the ghost in a jar. I think that's kind of weird. But I guess if you eat ghosts, you take their power for yourself. I suppose that's how that works. Mm, I mean, we're at full. So we should smith something. 
three is okay. I just I just blankly want to upgrade calculated gamble. It just gets so much more utility. Okay. Huh. Well, I mean, noxious is about the best I can get. But that does mean that next the log of Olin wakes up. At the start of my turn, I apply the poison. So it's not going to wake up yet. So I'll let it be. Then we'll apply this poison. So then we should hit it this turn. Which apparently, since it has a pretty good metallicize going on. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe the ghost gives you a blessing. And uh, it's not quite as creepy as it's, uh, you know, as it potentially could be. I think that's a, a much nicer way of looking at it. Okay, that's not bad. Hopefully we don't need the regen potion this time. I guess we'll find out if we do or not. But hopefully not. It'd be nice to let that poison tick off, you know? Okay. No poison cards for us this turn, but I mean, hey, it's alright. Okay, not bad. Just those out here, I mean... One dex down. It's not my favorite thing, but it's totally survivable. It's crazy the way that you can wind up with just, um, I don't know. Uh, I, I once wound up in an unwinnable log of one fight. Like, just from, like, you know, the, when you play it really slow, how it can just keep detracting from you until eventually you literally do no damage. Uh, and that kind of boggles my mind that that's um, possible. But yeah, it was it was an experience dying that way. Okay, we got letter opener. Well, I mean, I mean, we could lean hard into the poison situation. And then I don't know. We're going to go up this way and get an elite. I can take those weird question marks and see what we get. Sure, we'll take a sapphire key and pretend like we're going to... Um... Oh my god! Wow! Interesting. That's really, really cool. I've never even thought about that. I just assumed that all of the seeds were winnable. And I, I've never even like actually spent the time thinking like how do you how do you guarantee that? You know, how do you guarantee a winnable seed? I mean clearly the devs know. But that's really cool. And yes, I would I would also give uh, eating ghosts a shot. I mean you never know. It it could be it could be tasty. It can be tasty and helpful. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade and neutralize. I know it's weird, but I mean, it gives us that two weeks so that we can use it. Oh, that's really neat. Okay. Okay, well, let's definitely just go ahead and... Hmm. We'll do this, see if we can get some poisony things out there. Okay, we'll do this one. Because Noxious, we can play without, you know, upsetting him. But Bouncing Flask, we couldn't. And this goes ahead and gets us a reasonable amount of poison ticking away. I mean, that would be good too, but I'm, I'm content with where we're at. Yeah, that's crazy. I know some of, uh, some of the effects as you scale the Ascension Ladder are pretty wild. I've only ever played, I think, up to, like, Ascension 5 ever. Um, so... I've definitely seen, like, some of them get wild. I mean, I know there's, like, you stop healing after bosses. You start taking just these, like, awful effects. God, Storm of Steel is so good. But, like, we don't have, we don't have anything for that. Like, don't, don't tempt me. Hard to pass something up like that, though. Okay, normally I would upgrade, but I'm just going to go ahead and heal because, like, you know, let's, let's have, let's make it through the first floor for the love of God. Um, I mean, the ships are fine. That's really cool. Yeah, I guess only if you, like, have a bot that you're like, all right, bot, try to find these impossible seeds and alert me when you do. Then I guess it could work out, but that's got to be, like, the only use case. Twelve poison's probably better than just uh, five poison for one. And I'd feel bad for the bot that had to do that. Like, that must not be, like, a very fun job, you know? Having to look for impossible things. But I don't know. I guess I don't know what it is that, like, you know, the robots themselves consider fun. So. This would get down to 73. Right? 
So we should be really careful and not touch him. Hands off. That way the uh, slime boss doesn't get spooked. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do this. And honestly, we'll just clear out a slime. I mean, he's going to take 27 damage here. This is about the best that we could hope for. 46 each. Not, you know, amazing. But also, simultaneously, not the worst. Certainly nothing like the horrible situation that we, uh, we have in this way. Okay, they used a program to search the game's code. That's cool. Yeah, that's gonna be neat. You'd have to, like, carefully consider what are actually, like, the specific scenarios in which it's even possible to, like... In which it's possible for it to be impossible to win. Kind of ridiculous, but really neat. Yep, an early elite. That makes sense. Okay, no upgrades. Ooh, no attacks. That makes sense. Okay. That's really cool. Mm, this guy's already gonna get split, right? So, that'll be good. Will he split at the end? I'll have to think about that. Okay, I'll block a little, too. Will he take- yeah, okay, he'll take the poison damage first and split into slimes with two. Whew, thank goodness. Okay, that's not bad. Weaken you. And then how about we just, like, take no damage? For once. For once in our lives, we'll take no damage. Okay. I don't think we need to do that. I think we can just get them done this way, right? I guess it depended on how that landed, but clearly that landed exactly how I needed it to. Oh, only on the silent. That's really interesting, too. Maybe I shouldn't like the silent so much. I mean, after images is much better with a shiv deck, but we do have, um... Oh, God, I love empty cage. Oh, man. So I, I often run into this issue where I feel like it's just two, right? You know, my knowledge level versus, like, my, my, my competence. There's, like, a mismatch, right? So I'll be like, oh, I know it's really good to keep a thin deck. You know, and, like, I understand conceptually, like, why that is, right? You have more control over your deck. But then if you make terrible decisions, you know, um... With that deck, then it's not any better than if you had a thick deck and no control over it. So maybe that's uh, maybe that's just my my special curse, you know. Okay, so we're not especially looking for anything in particular. We could go this way. We can maybe take this way so that we can fight an elite, but we can also, like, be gently cushioned between two campfires in case we get something horribly wrong. <laughs> I will certainly acknowledge that there's a real chance of something going horribly wrong. It's true, any run is a cursed run if you're bad. You know, I'm proud to say, you know, I'm, I'm basically over here with a blue candle and a Duvu doll myself. Okay. This is maybe not the turn I would have hoped it would be, but whatever. Kind of a waste of horn cleat. I was so excited to discover, uh, like, I've I finally seen a horn cleat in real life. Um, and, like, it was probably more exciting than it should have been. But, like, I saw it and I was like, oh my god. That's, uh, that's what... Like, because, you, you know, I could tell it's a nautical theme, right? You know, there's the anchor, and I know, I know what the, na the anchor is, right? And I know what the what the, the wheel is. I mean, that's for a ship, too. But I was like, horn cleat. I'm like, I don't know what that is. But I've now been on a, a boat, and I've seen it. So I've seen them, like, you know, even throw the rope over it and do that weird figure eight that they make over it. A uh, very exciting day in my life, I tell you what. <laughs> that does kind of probably allude to the fact that my life could be more exciting. But um, I thought it was really fun. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. That is a nice way of looking at it, too, honestly. Like, it's a very, like, optimistic and pleasant way of viewing, like, you know, the optimal deck size. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, we did take that, but, I mean, look at this. We've gotten, like, two out of the, the egg trifecta, you know? We're basically getting, like, an egg carton over here. 
And the toxic egg, it's a reference to alien, right? I'm not sure what the molten egg is, but the toxic egg looks like the egg from alien. So I assume that's what it is. Honestly, not, not too bad of a turn. I mean, clearly it could have been better, but this is fine. I guess we get a bouncing flask first. But if we survivor, what? Oh god, I had horn cleat on. Okay, and then maybe we just go ahead and throw this on because we'll negate one of them. And we'll get nine poison on it. Yeah, that's probably worth it. I mean, look at this. We throw deadly poison on this guy and like, he's, he's toast. Even better than a melter, you know? Okay, we can ignore that. Oh yeah, and I'm taking this path cushioned by campfires. That's, that's the, the theme of this run. Hmm, what if unload and cloak and dagger? Okay, okay, uh, it torments us. Okay, well, I mean, this is a burst plus. I feel like it's kind of, it's kind of impossible for me to say no on that one. I maybe should have gotten rid of Rise, but, but come on, a burst plus though? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. After image is becoming an eight. After image, not after images. Although it does show me plural after images, looking a little bit like the Animorphs uh, covers over there. We have this one though. I think we can totally. I don't know, but three poison stacks up a lot faster. Honestly, like I know it's it's like such a, a little thing, but I mean death by a thousand cuts is uh, completely valid, you know. Okay, let's do this, and then we can unload. I mean, unload is obviously good if you get, like, what, a really good, like, discard situation going on. Like, you know, you're using, what, like, hovering kite as, like, your good boss relic, and... Okay, so that's fine. And then we can do this, too. But let's take a second and see what we can get done here. I don't think we're going to need to survive her. I think we can just play dance again twice. Get rid of this guy. And get working on this one. And I mean, let's weaken him too. It doesn't actually matter who we weaken there, though. I guess. God, I think it's so crazy how the Alien franchise, like, just how it existed. You know, like the fact that you know you sit there and like it seems like, like it just like completely genre switches. You know, I mean, like you get like the first one that's like you know, a, a really, like, suspenseful and terrifying horror. And then you get the second one, which is, like, far more of an action movie. And then I've seen them up to Resurrection. And then I've also seen, like, God, Prometheus, right? Which is technically an alien movie. Um, it's been a while, though. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I believe she does. Yeah. They're not... They're not bad movies. Definitely, like, you know, of course, super weird, very, um, H.R. Geiger, you know, doing his whole thing. It doesn't really matter who we kill there. Okay, well, I mean, see, like, Reflex is nice for unload. But, uh, uh, uh. Okay. And then we could rest here. You know, rest and be safe and just... Just play it relatively safe. We get Mercury Hourglass. I mean, that's a really nice relic. And I mean, I think we're doing okay enough. Assuming that nothing goes, like, horrifically wrong. I guess one of those question marks could contain that event where you, uh... You know the event where you wind up fighting someone in the, uh... Probably should have played that one. It was dumb. It's okay. We'll, we'll ship her, I guess. Uh, fighting that weird arena, the gladiator situation. So, I mean, like, we could wind up in that situation, take a lot of damage, and just have a bad time. Okay, we're gonna knock this bird out. Like, drop him to the ground. And really rather weaken her. And I guess I'll just calculate a gamble and hope for something expensive. Well, I mean, two strikes and the bird's gone. That's good enough for me. Okay, we can noxious. We can blade dance, that's fine. I know she's she's penalizing us right now with dazes, literally as we speak, but I can live with that. Halfway done, we got Noxious cooking, slow but steady. 11 block and she's doing 16, right? 
Okay, I can live with it. And we'll get this going. And I mean, you know, with after image, we got a little bit of buffer. I guess what? We got like two extra block. Nothing incredible, but... Oh, yeah. Okay, look at that. Survived. Uh, I'm gonna keep what I got. I'm not crazy about a poison stab. I mean, honestly, a backflip's not bad, I guess. We have a calculated gamble. Backflip is okay. I would take it. I mean, I'd like a little more block, which is why I didn't take acrobatics. Uh, I'm <laughs> certainly never doing that. Oh my god, you can take my block potion. Question card is okay. I know that I should probably, like, rate question card better than I do. Uh, sometimes I just, unfortunately... I know better, but it doesn't stop me sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out here. Okay. I mean, we take no damage from the cleric. I always try to fight the centurion first. I, you know, I've seen people do it either way. I've definitely seen people be more successful than I at this. But... Um... But I do it anyway. So, I don't know what that, what that says about me, but here we are. Okay. Hmm... I think we can get this one out here pretty quickly. And then just throw a survivor out here. We take no damage, is what I'm talking about. Okay, that's unfortunate, but look, we'll get it done. Okay, at the end of this turn, and this one is attacking me, a foolish mistake, clearly, because we're going to uh, turn our attention to the cleric. Right, that's their name, the cleric? Mystic. Okay, I can live with that too. Uh, we can burst Bouncing Flask. And, I mean, just end the turn. We're not going to get anything else out of it. Okay, cool. I'm glad that, that that's true, because I definitely just feel like, um... Bane goes well. We don't have a Bane, so we'll take it. Yeah, um, uh, that's, that's what I do. But it's just because the Centurion aggros you so hard, you know? I mean, like... Maybe maybe better players than I can like weather that storm more, but um, obviously this isn't great for the snake plant, but whatever. I mean, I'm sure it's great for the snake plant. This is one plant that apparently like a little bit of uh, of I guess just straight up assault and battery uh, works pretty well on that plant. But see, I mean, this is what I mean. Like I, I never had a green thumb, you know. Plants just they're very confusing. That's just 15. No point in playing survivor. Maybe we noxious. Maybe we throw this out here. Yeah. Snake plant's fun. Um, I do also, like, I, I do wonder a lot if, you know how, like, this weird little snake wiggly? I feel like it looks a lot like the, the kind on the centurion's armor. And I'm just curious if it's a snake on the centurion's armor. But it has, it has a tongue, like, coming out. I, you know, if, if you imagine that the centurion's armor has a snake head. So, yeah, exactly, the blocking thing. I do definitely see that it gets a lot more aggressive, and it, it frightens me. Perhaps rightly so, but... Okay, I would have preferred to get to use that poison this time, but I didn't. Here we are. Okay, and it doesn't really matter how we get the job done there since it's done for us. Probably should not take, like, another blade dance, since it's kind of not a shift deck. Okay, Book of Stabbing. Yeah, Book of Stabbing can be wild. Okay, that's kind of risky. Oh, no. <laughs> still? Though, it should still work. We're gonna do this, and then I guess I'm gonna Cloak and Dagger. We should still get it twice. And then we can throw a little bit more out there. Uh, always kind of ridiculous to watch Calculated Gamble play twice, you know, thanks to Burst, but that's okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, we're blocking enough now, so we should go hard on the poison situation and the damage generally. Yeah, <laughs> it was a choice. Okay, well, we can Survivor this. I, I'm not going to want it. Bouncing Flask is nice. I mean, because I would just, I would just like more block, but I'm just going to try to get through it as quickly as possible with 
I mean, it's not like fuck up stabbing doesn't just start stabbing you more often. I mean, that's that's what it then does. We can do this. See what we get from it. Wind up with blade dance, which I guess and we run out of room, so we're gonna be drawing shivs later, which is kind of kind of ridiculous. But we're not taking any damage, so that's cool. Uh, I'll just throw that on there just to be like, just just to let the book of stabbing know where I stand. Ninja scroll. I like how uh, we're we're in this position now. I'll take a second calculated gamble though. I will do it. I know it's wild. Who are we fighting? The collector. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. We don't have anything like, yeah, no eternal feather, no pantograph, no nothing that's gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> right. The game would prefer that we play a shiv deck. Like I, I see that we have not been, but. It would prefer it. I'm going to do this. And there's no point in bursting because then I can't play anything else. So we'll just unload. That's cool. It's not like we get any particular benefit from playing Shiv. Ah, that does make a lot of sense. You know, you can't trust an accountant. So. <laughs> um. But when, when I worked as an accountant, I would much prefer. Like, I, I never had a throne like this. I want a throne like that. I think that's the only way to do it. Uh, I mean, it would be nice to get this one kind of out here. And we'll go ahead and maybe neutralize you. And we're looking at 27. So that will make us not be looking at 27. I think that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We've been okay there. Okay, so this torch head will die for sure. And that's good news. And I can blade dance and strike, I guess. And I guess we could focus on this one. I don't know if this was really, really and truly the very best way we could have played that. But is that how that works? No, I never did work for a big firm. So like clearly I just, I completely missed out. Yeah, yeah. Well, these are, these are all of like, you know, the, the first years, right? Like the, the beginning auditors, you know? <laughs> well, it makes sense, right? Like the, their, their spark of hope has not burned out yet. That's why they have the torch head, you know? That's how this works. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, let's actually just calculate a gamble and hope for something better. We kind of got it. I mean, 32 poison's pretty good, honestly. God, I haven't had a good s'more in a long time. I would, I would go for a s'more. You know, especially when you get like s'mores with dark chocolate. Mm. I am, um, I'm something of a dark chocolate snob. And by that, I mean, I'm not a snob about dark chocolate. I mean, I, I mostly only like dark chocolate. And therefore, you know, you become a snob if you're like, oh, is that milk chocolate? But I mean, like I sort of wind up sounding like an unintentional elitist a lot of the time anyway. So these guys don't actually scoot off, do they? I always like really hope that they will because I think it would be adorable and hilarious. You know, like the, like the little gremlin ones. But um, I mean, hey, you can make s'mores in a microwave, right? Like if you're if you're dedicated enough, you know. Yeah, but a s'more with dark chocolate, yeah, that's where it's at. I mean, I guess you can always get one of those, like, those uh, creme brulee kitchen torches. I mean, nothing's stopping you from using, like, a real, like, flamethrower as well. Uh, but, you know, if you're trying to be relatively safe, I guess something is stopping you. Like, your own sense of self-preservation. That, that would stop you. <laughs> Did we get... No, we don't have, like, Omamori or anything. Slaver's Collar's not bad. Calling Bell could be good for us. I already have a 20 card deck. We can afford a curse, especially if we get rid of Rive. Yeah, I have I have seen but have not tried in in a store a 100 uh, percent cacao chocolate bar. And I was like, is that not just Baker's chocolate? Like I've had it up to 80 and been like, this is incredibly good. But once you get to 100, like, that's just awful, right? Like, it's just eating Baker's chocolate. It's not even, like, semi-sweet, which, you know, is semi-sweet. So I think that's that's got to just be, like, just painful, right? <laughs> like, it's just bitter. Um, 
where do we want to go? There's so many question marks when we get up here to the end. Um, I guess we need to hit a couple of like campfires at some point. Hmm. Okay, so we go up this way, right? We hit this guy. That's so many shops. Maybe we go up this way. And then we can hit this elite. I don't know. I don't really like that one either. Maybe we hit this elite. And this one has like no no campfires for me. You know? That's a real shame. Um, I can only imagine you had like some kind of devastating 100% cocoa powder incident at some point in your young life. Maybe we go up this way. We can hit this elite if we want to. Otherwise, we hit this campfire. You know, we can hit one of these other campfires. I'm basically just trying to ensure that I manage to get the uh, ruby key. <laughs> I'm sure. That had to have been hard for you. I'm sorry. Uh, let's throw this on here. We don't really have any skills, actually, this time, weirdly enough. Okay, well, we obviously just need to, like, get working on this guy so he does not explode on us. Cool. Okay, it's done. Should be nice and easy. Um, I like a bouncing flask. Now we can cloak and dagger. We don't need to, but we could. We'll throw that on there, honestly. Because, you know, once we take out the repulse, we won't have anybody we can attack. We'll be bored and sad and looking for poison cards to throw on this guy. Yeah, see? Like, no, no poison cards for us. We're just stuck. Uh, we can afford one, right? Yeah, one. Okay. Won't take any damage from that. Okay, and he'll die to poison. We'll just end the turn. Too easy. Not trying to get a cloak and dagger. You know what, though? We have paper frog. We should sucker punch. Okay, that was a free heal. I was looking for Omamori earlier. But I'd really like a gremlin horn. Oh, but I have a card to remove. Let's remove the card. We can still afford gremlin horn? Jesus Christ. Okay, like, I'll take it. You don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, bored and sad. It's a, a good default state. Maybe not a good one, but a common one. You know, it's easy to... <laughs> an easy comfort zone. Oh, and I mean, I already told you, like, I've been an accountant, so bored and sad is definitely the watchword there. Okay, that's not bad. We'll be able to kill this guy, I think, pretty, pretty safely next turn. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so we throw on six. Okay, that's not enough. Uh, okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter, though. We're going to be completely fine. Okay. Let this be. Cool. Done. Nice. Nice. Okay. So we can go up this way. This way we get one elite in, right? Like, yeah, we take some combats, but, eh, you know, this way we make it here. And then even if, like, we're, we, we drag into this campfire bloody and bruised and we have to rest, we can still hit this campfire or this one in order to get our ruby key so that we can have the privilege of being slaughtered, presumably not even by the heart, just by like, you know, the spire growths or whatever. The one that holds the spear and the shield. Uh, I guess we could do this and then Bane, which is probably better. I also love the whole ecology of the spire, right? Like the maw, like being here and like clearly they like they make their nests here because the jaw worms like you can find them traveling in like small packs together here and then like some of the baby jaw worms make it all the way down to the base of the spire where you fight them like solitarily i think it's a great it's a great you know look into the uh, uh yeah the ecosystem the ecosystem of the spire Okay, we got two layers of weakness, which is nice. Seemed to not matter at all for us, but that's cool. Okay, we can always do these twice. We can throw Sucker Punch on, which I think is actually worth something, since we have Paper Frog. I mean, Paper Crane. Paper Frog is the vulnerable one. Close, but not quite, you know? Hmm. Let's go ahead. Maybe we get something better with Block. Well, in a way... 
keep him weak. Maybe keep him weak the whole rest of the fight if we're lucky. That would be my preference. We'll see what actually happens. Okay. Maybe I should have been trying to keep more poison on him, but I think we're going to be okay. I'm telling myself that anyway. Okay, we can do this. We can defend. Yeah, okay, we take three damage. I, three damage I can live with. Okay, maybe we do a little bouncing flask and a little blade dance. We get these out here. I only we had calipers. I had to run early where I have calipers and then... Well, we all saw what happened with that. Okay, beautiful. You're just going to die, so I'm not even going to play my hand. I really want a flex potion. I do, I do want a catalyst, though. I just, I really do. I think that's going to help us. We're doing okay so far. I don't know how much we can get this guy whittled down. And we're not going to take any damage. I want to start getting rid of the artifact on him. I can't burst Bouncing Flask, which sucks. But we'll just do this and see who it hits. Okay. I mean, it kind of hit the people that I wanted it to. Maybe not all of them, but some of them at least. So, you know, I can't complain too much. I'm good at it, I think for sure. You know, everybody needs a talent, and that's mine. But, okay, so... Well, we're already going to block enough. It's fine, so we can work on the Repulsor. That one dies. Oh no, but it wastes the extra energy, right? Because it's not gonna... Yeah, it doesn't actually count here. That's kind of a shame. Hmm... I would like to apply more poison. There's a reasonable chance that I'm able to apply more poison. And by reasonable, I mean, I guess a guaranteed shot. So, I consider that reasonable. Okay. All right, okay, I know we got to clear these out because on their second turn, and maybe all subsequent turns, they start hitting like a truck. And I don't, I don't find that super cash money of them. Okay, let's just get these out here. We'll want to... Sure, we'll throw a blade dance out. Okay, we get a little bit of extra energy. Honestly, that's amazing. Two shivs. Two shivs. That'll give me eight. Okay, so I can kill this one. Oh, we get more. Okay, we get to put some weakness and some poison on her. I mean, that's actually wonderful. Uh, I remember really vaguely, but she used to be like some kind of weird fire guy, right? Some kind of strange demon, and these were like wisps and not like little daggers. Also, super messed up that these are not like little snakes. I mean, she's the Reptomancer, but all these are our swords. I mean, daggers, I guess, but... Still not, not so cool. Honestly, let's re-roll this for something better. That's a shame. But let's see who, who it hits. Okay, means we'll have to kill him. If this is unknown, she's probably summoning, right? Yeah. Would have been nicer to kill him much more quickly than we did. Curse of the Bell can, can disappear. We have Unceasing Top. So we'll actually get something out of it. That's, uh, wow, incredible. Okay, we got Survivor that we can't afford. That's okay. Worse things have happened in this run alone, you know? Okay, we'll just do that so he'll die. Then we can hope for something better and cooler. Huh. Okay. Well... Uh, tripling the poison one after another got us up to 153, so that's pretty good. We have one burst plus already. We, we probably don't need a second one. I say as I take it, but we probably don't, right? Oh, it's this guy. Hello, transient. Great to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, cool. And then honestly, like, let's calculate a gamble and hope for some kind of. Like, honestly, let's do this. I know Noxious feels nice, but we're not really trying to, like, slowly work him away. We just want, like, a lot of poison all at once. Because, you know, whatever damage we can get done to him, the better. Let's backflip. Okay, lame. We'll do this. And this way he'll be taking 33 damage at the end of each turn. So that means that we'll be getting 33 block at the end of each turn. How nice is that? Yeah. 
I'm gonna play some more poison. And it's like the wrong order for after images, but I was thinking I might play um, the other instead. Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, and then he'll take like more than enough, right? So I don't think this will actually matter too much, but we'll see how it goes. Like, let, I will just make sure that I'm correct on that. Okay, thank goodness. Glad it's not just like attack damage or something that shackles him because wow, that would be bad for me. <laughs> I can see it happening, but this is just basically me doing a little insurance here. Now we had an unceasing top, but it doesn't matter because he is going to explode himself this turn. We don't really need Gambler's Brew, and we already have a Calculated Gamble Plus. We got two of them. I'm not looking for a third, I think. I think we can just skip that. Okay, like, I know. I know. But we've got to come here if we're trying to get our Ruby Key. So I'm gonna go for it. Oh my god, ice cream? Jesus Christ. I don't know if, if this is just, you know, my, my own inexperience talking, but I feel like ice cream is just the very best. Like, it, it's just, it's the best ever. That's how I feel about it. Like, it, I just feel like it's, like, hands down the best relic. And I hope that that's not, like, too wild of an opinion. But I feel like that's the case. Yeah. Oh, good. This one's always nice and easy. I really love, like, that they included this in the game in an event. Because I think it's just, like, truly so great. Because, like, you know, <laughs> it's not even close. What is the best relic, then? Because I feel like ice cream is just, like, so fantastic. Every time I see it, I am happy to see it, you know? But I really, I really do love, like, that they included this in the game where you can go back and fight, like, an Act 1, you know, enemy. Uh, because you just get to, like, oh, gosh, I don't know. You know, you just get to, like, enjoy like how far you've come because like the game itself normally is like it's balanced pretty well I think so that it always feels a little bit challenging you know and so this like actually lets you know like hey you aren't just flailing through the game I mean maybe you are but that being said like you're also still making progress like look at how easy it is for you to kill this boss that like really screwed you up previously so I feel like that's really fun Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't even considering, like, Nilri's Codex. I wasn't even thinking, like, the boxes. I mean, the books. The, those three you can get, Nilri's Codex, Enchiridion, and whatever else. Um, Necrom Necronomicon. Oh, God. I sound like my own grandmother, you know? Regular words are a tongue twister here. Let's see, we could burst. I don't want to burst Survivor. That's lame. We'll just calculate a gamble, see what we get. Okay, Dead Branch is actually kind of mind-boggling, so you might be onto something there. I'll definitely give you that one. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> right? I'll throw this on here. He's totally dead, though. I don't know. Yeah, Dead Branch is wild. Like, actually insane. I mean, if you get, yeah, if you get, like, the right combinations going, you can, like, basically actually go infinite, which is crazy. We should take a Caltrops if we're actually thinking we're going to fight the heart. And that way it can hurt itself on us instead of the other way around. Let's see. Uh, it'd be nice to actually, like, take one out or block or do something that's good for me, you know? I don't know. I guess I'll block again. Yeah, Snake Eye is pretty cool. I don't know. It's like it's so it's so unpredictable though, you know? I mean it is very, very good and fun, but I feel like it's also like has the potential to just go completely crazy on you. And we'll do this and then maybe none of them have any poison, so like just throw something on somebody. It's not too bad. Oh, Mercury Hourglass is nice here, too, actually. And I can't Bouncing Flask. Hmm. Well, I can do this one. And we have Unceasing Top, so throw this on someone else. Well, <laughs> that's not super great, but okay. Okay, drawing an additional two cards every turn is pretty wild. 
But I mean, we can already tell that like, you're someone who manages to like, get that whole like, card draw thing to work out really well for you. So you're clearly like making decks with which like, you know, you can actually draw cards that are valuable. Whereas, you know, you've got me over here like, oh yeah, I can draw extra cards. Like, do I even want them? You know, like they might be a really bad fit for what I'm going for. So that seems completely fair. Um, if you're building pretty good decks, I suppose you wouldn't have any, any complaints there. Maybe this one? This one will die. This one will regrow, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can make sure this one dies this turn. I do keep forgetting that I have... Yeah, I mean... It, it is pretty simple advice. It's pretty, pretty solid. Okay, we have two bursts. This is useless, but anyway, it dies this turn, so we're completely fine. I like that it just says regrowing ominously in the corner. Like, probably true, right? Like, do the slimes ever really stop? Okay. So we go here. <laughs> we can lift, which is kind of hilarious. Um, I'm gonna do it. Also. Yeah. Okay, we're here. Maybe, maybe we remove something I don't want. Like, there's no way I ever really care about drawing a strike anymore. Captain's wheel is cool, and it's there. Okay, and then here, like, maybe it's important to make after images an eight. Like, maybe that is truly very valuable. Maybe, maybe. Otherwise, I mean, well, we got unload. I guess we, like, improve our shivs. Uh, let's go ahead and make after image an aid. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it sucks to make after images an aid and fight the awakened one. I feel like the awakened one is a great hard counter for me as a person. I feel like I'm like especially bad at fighting it. Uh, I don't know if it's got that that two health bar situation going on or what, but yeah. Now we can apply ten poison. Uh, is that what I want to do? We can also just unload. You know, we can like apply five poison and unload or something, but... Mm. Mm. Okay, I guess we'll do this. Start stacking up poison. No, don't even show me, I can even run out. Yeah, I did forget to check this one. I sometimes, or I was looking at least for the first couple of floors, but this one I didn't even look at, and apparently I'm just like, eh, we'll go for it. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I'm not looking to waste my catalyst yet. I mean, I think the weakening is probably worth something. I'm just gonna go ahead and calculate a gamble. And this one I was hoping for, like, Sucker Punch or something. Literally anything. That it was not just a block. But that's cool. Okay, we killed one. So we actually got something that was not just a block. Although I don't know that I needed it. Let's see. So we burst, and I don't know, we could burst blade downs. I guess that's okay. Get some of these out there. Okay, we get more energy. That is nice. I know, I know. And that's only two up, so surely we can justify that. Uh, this is just barely better than unload. Although we're still doing 16, so we can take no damage. Oh god, there was burst on, okay. That's right. Yeah, it's true, if it's not worth having to draw and play, I shouldn't put it in my deck. I mean, it's really solid advice, I just feel like so rarely do I manage to take it. I don't need to play anything else, and I'm going to resist the tug of Caltrops. Plus, we have to save some energy. Honestly, we can Cloak and Dagger here. We can Sucker Punch, keep him weaker for longer. Um, I guess we'll do that. Very weird. Very, very weird, but okay. <laughs> okay, like our health is okay for now. Probably should never say that under any circumstances. 
Um, and then we can go ahead and we can apply this poison. And we can defend twice. We take no damage again. Woo! It's great news. Hmm. We could burst Bouncing Flask. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to save the one energy. I'm not touch anything. Hmm. I guess I'll do this. Backflip, okay. Get some more damage out there. Ah, we'll leave it. You know, we do have ice cream. So, I mean, I could have calculated a gamble, but then I didn't want to risk, like, something getting things that I couldn't play that I, like, desperately wanted to play. Um, hmm. I'll do this one. I'm going to calculate a gamble. We can burst Bouncing Flask, which is really good, but it means that we block a little bit less, like quite a bit less. So maybe I'm going to do this, actually, because this way we get to block a lot more. Like, what, six more? Something like that? I suppose. I suppose that's not really... Okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not using Catalyst. I know, I know, but I'm not using Catalyst because I want to be okay for the next phase of the fight. Okay, come on. Let's just... Okay. I mean, it'll die soon, which is great. I mean, move into the next phase, I guess. Uh, there's no point in playing anything now. I mean, just let it die to poison. So weird you can get energy when it's going to then just awaken again. Okay, I wish it wasn't hitting for like 42. That's not like super cool of it. Okay, but we can burst and uh, this, and I guess that too. And this is fine, and we can use Unceasing Top and uh, see where it goes from there. Okay, we got a Bane, you know, Deadly Poison, I'll take it. We got to defend. I obviously can't play that burst, but hey, you know, we got some more block out of the deal too. Helps us survive a little bit longer. You know, I can take my catalyst now. I'll go ahead and backflip first, see if we get anything else important, but... Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm content with that. And then we'll go ahead and do this. We've used up all of our energy, but that's okay, because this thing is going to die pretty soon. Which is awesome. Okay. Yeah, look at that, even at the, the end of this turn. Woo! Okay, so now we just have the heart fight. Oof. Okay, we prepare our daggers. 793. Nothing super impressive, but all right, let's see what we can do. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I can see the boss here is going to be the heart. Yep, spear and shield, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we can cure ya. Um, I mean, at this point, I guess I should actually just upgrade and defend. I know, like, you know, we got Blade Dance, but, you know, doing more attacks might or might not be useful to us. Giria is kind of silly. I have five, so this is nothing for me. God, I would have loved Funnel. Even Accuracy, man, I would have taken. I, I like that he's not even talking to us. Well, see you later, Merchant. Wish me luck, Merchant. All right, we should probably after images. You know, I, I'm going to keep my back to this one since this one is attacking multiple times. We'll go ahead and we'll throw out these first shivs. Uh, I think I'm just going to calculate a gamble because I want to have two to try to use to, like, block or do something good for me. Okay. Okay. So, I, yeah, we don't fully block. We take one damage. We got Horn Cleat this turn. So things, they could be much worse. We'll throw this out here. Uh, okay, well, whatever. You know, that's fine. We get some poison out there. We don't have corpse explosion, which would be, you know, primo in this particular situation. We obviously need to turn around uh, because that's not cool. I guess I'll throw this on him too. And then, I guess I would have preferred to put it on that one. That's fine, look. This is a completely acceptable way for this to have gone. And I guess maybe I should be trying to save a little bit of energy since we have ice cream, but I don't know. I mean, if, it, if the cards are good enough to play, I think we should not feel bad about it. 
Okay. We got this. We can calculate a gamble too. We gotta burn. <laughs> okay, cool. Very nice, I guess. And this fight's gonna go on much longer. I probably should pop the regen potion. It's probably gonna go on long enough. Even if we got like catalyst or something, it's not gonna like revolutionize what we're looking at right now. Let's backflip. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, even if I do something like this, right? And then we, we don't take any damage and we do this. Yeah, this fight will go on for a few more turns. So I think this makes sense. I mean, it certainly can be. I mean, I don't know. The heart fight is where I fully anticipate dying here. So um, I don't know if I can be truly impartial, but <laughs> cool. As long as the bouncing flasks don't turn me around physically, like I'm cool with it. This is a lot of damage to take. <laughs> okay. Huh. So the best we can hope for, we can catalyst here. And this one will die at the end of the turn. We can cloak and dagger and then turn around. This one will die before it attacks and will only take one damage or two damage. So that's okay. I'll have to calculate a gamble to get rid of this for sure. But that's fine for now. We need to get rid of the burn. I'm not trying to keep that. Oh, that's good to know. I'm glad it doesn't like force you to live with with like, you know, which direction you were facing, even if it was like the wrong one. Okay, we missed out on one health, so I think that's okay. Toy or the softer. I mean, I'm not super thrilled to see it. I almost never take a card at this point because I just feel like, I mean, look, we're 20 HP going to the heart fight. This is probably going to be a bloodbath, you know? <laughs> but, uh, here we go. <laughs> cool. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I see. It goes away when they die. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. I mean, because you're obviously, like, clearly you were no longer surrounded in that case. Wow, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, we can take our intangible potion here. No reason not to. Nothing else to play. I mean, nothing else that's, you know, worth playing. We have ice cream, so no point in wasting it, but... Three times twelve... I, like, I wish you weren't, man. Okay. 1 times 12. Much more doable. And maybe our unceasing top gives us something better? Please, for the love of God, give me a block? Yes, that's what I wanted. That's what I was looking for. I mean, it's something, at least. I really wish that... Because, you know, we have caltrops. Oh, my God! Anyway, that's what I was saying I wanted. Caltrops. I, I can't play that. I'm not trying to, either. Yeah, I don't really want to see Wu draw. Okay. Two times twelve, huh? So we can neutralize. And then we can... Oof. You know? It is, it is. Paper Crane is, like, seriously good here. Uh, I guess... Uh... I guess I'm gonna do this. As weird as it is. Okay, well, Curse of the Bell. Wow, that was going to stop me in my tracks, huh? At least this time, we were able to throw, you know, Caltrops on, which is helpful. Uh, it's going to do us for 25. It will kill us, and then we'll heal to 30% of our max HP, so... Okay. Not amazing. Just okay. Sure. I mean, I'll play this out. No point with backflip. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna burst. Okay, it's not up to two beat of death yet, which, like, thank God. Because I'm just not ready for that in my life. Okay, it's, like, buffing itself, right? Oh, plus one of the beat of death now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, attack. Oh, you're right, you're right, yeah. Let's do this, if nothing else, for the health buff. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, 
Well, we don't know what we're going to draw. I was going to check the draw pile, but there's nothing there, so we won't know. We can get up to 66 HP. I mean, a poison. Not amazing. Not nothing. But, I mean, that's going to hit us for 36. So we got to block for 10 at least, right? Maybe we do this. Maybe we calculate a gamble and we hope for something better. Okay. Did we, did we die? Now we die. Now we die. We die by one, right? Yep. Yep. We die by one. That's a real shame. I shouldn't have calculated gamble. I guess that would have, would that have been better? I'm not sure. Anyway, clearly I am going to need a new map. They're not wrong. Okay. Do we, do we get another unlock? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll get one overkill at least. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this stream uh, there. But thank you so much for joining in, for, you know, being along along for the ride, for the ascent, if you will. Um, and, of course, thank you, uh, Praetor Geist, because I loved your, your very insightful comments and very helpful. So thank you so much, and thank you, everyone, for watching and tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next time. See you around.